In this video, we will be reviewing the process of how to add new menu items to your Volante back office and have them reflected on your Volante Eats online ordering platforms. To begin, let's navigate to the menu setup function from the back office home screen. We are now in the menu item tab. To the left, we see a full listing of all of our menu items. The menu list is organized by folders, divisions in blue, groups in red, and categories in yellow. To add a new menu item, navigate and expand the relevant yellow category folder. For this demo, we're going to be adding a new beverage, a cappuccino. Right-click on the category folder and select Add Menu Item. You will then see a new item appear in your menu list. Fill in the details for this menu item as needed. This process would include naming the item, selecting the printer types, tax types, and discount types by activating the relevant checkboxes. Press Save All at the top of the screen. Now that we've created the item, we need to ensure that specific item properties are set on the item. We can do this with a process called grouping. For a menu item to be reflected on your Volante Eats online ordering platform, a menu item must have the following item properties associated with it. A mobile printer. This is the printer that will be responsible for printing online orders. Depending on your site's policy, this printer may be labeled as something other than mobile printer. Examples include Volante Eats or online ordering. A menu set. This is a menu set that has been set up to display on your online ordering platforms. A menu item must belong to a relevant online ordering menu set. And lastly, a customer database tag. If you have specific billing restrictions associated with your My Volante customer types, you must ensure the menu item is tagged correctly in order to be billed correctly on a customer's account. Now that we know which properties need to be assigned to our newly added menu item, let's learn how to do this through our grouping function. Navigate to the grouping tab located over here. The areas where we will be assigning properties are located in the menu set, printer type, and tags, tabs. Let's start with menu set. In this menu set list, find the appropriate menu set that is displayed on your online ordering platform. This is the menu set that your newly added menu item will be a part of. The menu set will usually be marked with stars on either side of the name. To help find this menu set faster, you can type star in the search bar over here. I'm going to be using the beverage menu set. Now on the left side of the screen, find your newly added menu item. Click, drag, and drop it to the grouping area on the right-hand side to associate this item with the start menu set. On the right-hand side, we will see your newly added menu item populate into the list with that, we have finished associating our newly added menu item with the appropriate online ordering menu set. Let's work on associating the correct printer type next. Navigate to the printer type tab. In this list, find the appropriate printer to associate your newly added menu item to. I'm going to be using the Volante Eats printer type. Just like before, we are going to click, drag and drop our newly added menu item from the left-hand side of the screen to the right-hand side of the screen. Click, drag, and drop. Now, when we see the newly added menu item populate in the list over here, we know it is associated with this Volante Eats mobile printer. Lastly, if your site has billing restrictions on your My Volante customer types, we need to ensure the newly added menu item has the correct database tag associated with it in order to be billed correctly on account. Navigate to the Tags tab. In my demo space, I have the following three database tags. You will see different tags than the ones I have here, but the concepts remain the same. These tags are used to mark eligible items to be associated with certain account types in your customer database. That way, when these menu items are ordered, they bill correctly to the relevant account for your customers. I am going to associate the Drinks Only customer database tag with my newly added menu item. Just like before, we're going to select, click, drag and drop the newly added menu item from the left-hand side of the screen to the right-hand side of the screen. Now, when we see the newly added menu item populate into the list over here, we know it is associated with this customer database tag. 
We have completed the process of adding new menu items and grouping the required item properties on them. Now the last step in order to have them reflected on your online ordering platforms is to commit a data sync from the Volante back office and a menu import from the Volante Eats admin portal. For a refresher on how to commit a data sync and a menu import, please watch our videos titled Updating Website and App Menu Items, Step 1 and 2. Thank you for watching.